Guys, g'day Ziggy D here. Welcome back for some more uniquing action. Oh baby. Oh yeah. No, we don't want to take in two topaz. Uh oh. Um. Huh. Oh, we don't need two topaz. I already got my topaz. Uh, we'll take. You know, that'll, that'll be fine. So let's do Waka Warua to Ahu to Ahu. I think it's Waka Warua to Ahu. Okay. This map, the Strand map. I, 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 this is like the map I know the least about out of all of the maps, so I'm pretty much blind for this. The only thing I know is from the wiki which says that uh, the map applies a debuff named Creeping Darkness on the player. Light radius item rarity and item quantity slowly decrease over time. So that's kind of creepy. Um, okay, uh, so yes, let's, um, I, what else, what else do we know? It contains many totems. Uh, less curse effectiveness, rarity, and monsters have nemesis mods. And then apparently the boss is pretty crazy, but other other than that, I don't know much about it. So, let's give Hakuna Matata a go. <laughs> That's the one. All right, guys, wish me luck. We've made it through death and tax, death and taxes. We did Oba, we didn't die in Oba, but uh, we didn't make it through Oba either. It was close. We we came three seconds away from dying. <laughs> But, uh, we'll see if this is the one that killed us. Coward's Travel also didn't kill us, although that was a little bit scary too. Alright guys, I don't know how much, of my, how much of this my heart can take. Oh man, it's so dark. Okay, so killing mobs resets the... the... Oh man, this is creepy. Is there monster damage on this? 32%, okay. So we get Light Radius back and Rarity by killing things. Let's actually see this in effect. So there's my look at my light rate look at my rarity and stuff cha changing really quickly. It's really quick. Wow, crazy. So I guess if you're gonna kill a boss, you want to kill a bunch of mobs before it. If you don't want to see anything, you probably need to do that too. Man, I can't see shit. <laughs> this is where that light light radius gear comes in handy, huh? Maybe, <laughs> maybe not. Oh my auras! All oh, right, right. I logged. Oh my god. We just did it without auras for a second. That's a little bit silly. Thank you. Thank you. Alright, so far just a, just pretty much a normal 72 map. Nothing too crazy. Yeah, that's that's how much of a baller I am. I don't even need auras to do these maps. Five link! <laughs> oh, it's such a low level! Oh my god, chainmail. Why? Well, I guess I'll vend that for a, um, a wisdom scrap. Nah, someone, someone might find it useful, but that's not going to be worth anything. Why? Why must you be level 32? Worst. Alright, that's the wall. <laughs> I couldn't even see the wall. I just ran straight into it. Ugh! Break my nose on the wall. I like how it just, like, the light radius just kind of pulses up for a little bit and then goes straight away. Alright, there's a portal there. Um... Okay, let's go in. Oh, does he just go to the next zone or area or something? Or should we... Can we go back? No, rip, okay. Uh, that's a weird kind of invisible barrier. I don't have anyone in my party, do I? Okay, that's a diamond tome, let's get rid of that. <laughs> oh, okay, hello. Yeah, I don't want to be cold snapped. Five times in a row. What's all that shit? Oh, that's where the things are gonna spawn. You can actually see them in the darkness. Weird. Really? No? It's just blood. Okay, it's just. Oh my god, it's blood. <laughs> uh oh. No, uh oh. It's blood. Why is there so much blood in here? I'm getting a little bit scared, guys. Low level dueling item? It's 32 requirement. Low level jewelry is 28. Okay, so there's boats and blood and all sorts of junk everywhere. Alright, let's clear this line. So it's we're basically in a giant boat graveyard. Interesting. That's an Ellie Reflect. Not a problem. I wonder if I should get a Sapphire Flask ready. I don't know. We'll wait and see. We'll wait and see what it is. What's down here? Hey, we can actually get on the other side of the boats. Interesting. There's white rowers everywhere. Is anyone noticing the white rowers?
What's with the right white rowers though? Are these guys gonna drop rural feathers on me? We'll clear the rest of this area first. Uh, I'm I'm on the amped up playlist. We can go back to the normal Vinsert playlist. There we go. Uh, I can try though. Actually, it didn't work. There we go. Maybe we should play the creepy song for this song for this map. Let's do that. Here we go, creepy song. Oh my god, I almost got killed. <laughs> Fishing confirmed. We're gonna find some rower feathers in a moment. Zombie rower. Okay, there's zombie rowers apparently. Not white rowers. Hello there. What's teleporting? Nothing apparently. This area is huge. It's a massive map. It's a really weird layout too. So we can go on the other side of these boats here. I guess we'll clear out this area then. <laughs> zombie fishing confirmed. <laughs> ah yes, of course, zombie zombie roll zombie white row feather. They're zombie white rowers. We can do some zombie fishing. <laughs> uh, okay. That's, oh, that's the original portal. What the hell? It just like pulse, pulses on me for no reason. Okay, that's a little weird. So you can go around those boats then. I don't really know. It's just, I guess, massive boat wall for some reason. So I'm guessing the boss is going to be up in this area somewhere. It's so dark. Puncture. I'll take that diamond ring, thank you. What are you up to? We've been doing uh, all sorts of crazy unique maps today. Doing a lot of blind unique map runs as well. It's been uh, pretty good. It's gonna be some good YouTube videos for the next couple days. <laughs> oh shit, watch out. Roll is a little bit scary. For zombies, they move, they're, they're, these are fast-running zombies. These are not the um, shuffling, slow, ambling zombie rowers. These are these are the sprinters. Rage virus zombies. Not technically zombies. So we've done death and taxes. We did obers. We did coward's trial and beyond, which was pretty entertaining. Um, and now we're doing uh, waka. Uh, apparently, it's waka warua. Uh, to to aha, uh -huh. and that that sounds like it. It sounds like a joke, but I think that is actually correct. It makes sense from what I know about Maori. I believe it is Maori. To aha, uh -huh. to ahu, to ahu. That's the one. Okay, the boss has got to be up in this top section, I guess. Let's check it out. Scaring orb. It's a big map. I didn't even clear that first section. I just thought I thought the portal would be like the, just a boss room or something. So I thought I'd jump straight into it. We should save up our flasks though. Ready for the boss. Get some power charges as well might help. Enjoy Hakuna. <laughs> Hakuna Matata map. Step out, charges. Goat head, go goat hard guards. Oh, they're already four linked. Oh my god, so much value. Apparently, here's the boss room. Okay. Well, let's go in. Arena. Oh, it's actually. Wow, okay. It, there's an ancient seal in here. Cool! <laughs> Alright, I'm scared. 
Uh, maybe I should have waited. <laughs> Before popping my vile grains. Oh, hello! Hello, bow person! What the fuck?! Oh my god! Okay, we need to watch out for those explosive arrows. Even with Ondar's Guile, that's still a little bit concerning. Puncture is too strong, though. Wow, those explosive arrows, though. Alright, Ruby Flask. <laughs> Just in case they got me. What are those slow-moving arrows? That's the most funniest thing I've ever seen. Okay, now we've got, like, Reamer or something. Alright. <laughs> that, uh, that Cruel Rain explosive arrow. Wow, that was very close. That thing dropped a lot of loot. Puncture OP? There he is. Oh, it's Proximity Shield. Oh my god, how am I... Is there any way to get charges in here? Can we can we go back and get charges? We can't go back and get charges. Well, that makes things a bit that makes things a bit easier. Oh, not another massive ice nova thing. Oh my god. And ice walls, awesome. All right, let's wait until the ice novas are beat. Let's go in. All right, let's get the fuck out of there. <laughs> All right, I punctured it and temp changed it, so it should should die. <laughs> what a beast! What a beast! What an absolute beast. It dropped two uniques too. Oh my god, Peregrine and a... <laughs> what is these uniques, guys? What are these uniques? Look at all these things. Look at this rubbish. That was sick. Alright, that was pretty cool. That was pretty cool. Um, yeah, that, that archer... So, uh, apparently the... the um, the arch that appeared mirrors your character class, so maybe it's different if you're a witch or something. Is that true? Anyone can confirm? Because that's pretty interesting, if so. This map has very interesting mechanics, though. But, uh, yeah, that's that's the power of puncture temp chains, guys. Don't underestimate. I know vulnerability is really good, but temp chains is really good, too. So, basically, I just went in, like, I temp chains it and got a crit puncture and then ran out of there. Okay. So this is the map everyone was telling me not to do, above all, all, all else. There's so much loot here, holy shit. Land of shit uniques 24-7. Oh man, the uniques were found from all these unique maps, right? I mean, Queen's... I, I found Chin Soul, that was the only decent thing. Roman Rax, Queen's Decree, Dying Breath, Thousand Ribbons, Hero's Ire, Chevron's Pace, another Hero's Ire. <laughs> this is everything I'm finding, just all these rubbish uniques. Oh, Vendor. Vendor for some good shards, though. We got a 5 link, though. 